What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Soma Blind. In the last episode, we we basically were blinded. I mean, it feels like I'm nearing blindness right now as I walk through this place. Just due to the blurriness from, well, getting attacked by that monster in the previous episode. I guess this is why we should have been a little bit more cautious with our data buffers. But um, regardless, we found two of the things we need. The last thing we need is a Cortex chip. So we are going to go down here and hopefully take a look. And see if we can find it. I'm not super optimistic. Well, actually, no, I am optimistic. The game is designed in such a way that I'm sure it'll be down here somewhere. The real question is... Well... Am I going to die in the process, right? What the heck was that sound? It did not sound friendly, that's for sure. But um, regardless, we're going to find it in one of the machines or robots or something like that. At the moment, we're going to have to try and make do with what we got. So let's see here. On the lower section... We are in containment B. We've already been... Okay, and we got here through the dress room, I believe, and there's that stairwell. Take the gel. Poison the well. Kill them all. Or something like that. Uh, and then we're in containment B right now. And we just came from the dress room. So on our left should be a hallway that should take us to some unnamed room, comms, and workshop. And that's really all there is to do down here, right? At least for the moment. We already took a look at this, I think. Yeah, we already took a look at this. There's something about the lockdown there. We're going to have to play that little mini game, Or rather, we're already done with the mini game, actually. So we'll stick to the lower, override, and we should be okay. Alright, things actually lit up a little bit. Pleasant surprise. We're going to crouch, just in case there's some badness going on out here. In case this is a data buffer, and I don't think it is, but in case it is, I'd like to go over here. Yikes. Look at all that, like, circuitry inside. Part of me is wondering, was that put in place after WoW? As a result of WoW? Or was it after? Right? Or was it before? As in, humans alter this dead body and put the circuitry such that the structure gel will have something to work with. Right? I don't know, but... Oh, no, I need it. I thought I'd find a data buffer. Darn it. All right, well, what do we have here? We have an audio player. So, 21... Oh, let's start, let's start early, right? These are both... Well, no, they're not necessarily ordered in a particular way. So, in 2103 on Christmas, incoming ACR... We know that obviously didn't work out well, right? Because we never heard from them again. And instead, we got this we we got these weird mutations and all that stuff. Tao, please respond. This is Rowley Herber calling from Omicron. Please respond, Tao. Yikes. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Strasky, are you there? I hear you, Herbie. What's up? Uh, just wanted to check in. I have to go do something. I might not be around for a few days, okay? Rally Herbie leaving the listening post? Must be important. It is, Strask. It is. Yikes. And so we are... I think we actually... We saw the opposite side of this. We saw where this communication was actually received. And we know that it obviously didn't turn out super well. So this is the structure gel. Okay. I don't think I'm about to get attacked. What is this? 
wow, maybe? Some sort of demonstration? I don't know, something like with the circuits. What the heck? Alpha needs medicine. H, it, it's sick. Alpha needs medicine. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. It seems like our friend might have gone a little bit, uh, a little bit nuts. Into the abyss, take it to Alpha in the abyss. What are we taking to Alpha in the abyss? The Ark or something? This is the person, this is Miss Herber, who presumably went kind of crazy. Maybe due to the exposure of the structure gel and all that jazz. Find Tau, find Alpha, take the gel to Alpha. Yikes. The heart of Alpha. What in the world? The question is, has she even been to Alpha? How does she know about this? We know there was some skepticism about whether or not Alpha even really exists, but... And it seems like from that recording that she actually did leave at some point, right? We can't go in there just yet. What about down here? Alright, seems relatively safe. What are we looking at? Cortex chip diagnostics. Eject cortex chip. Okay. I'm not really sure what's going on here. Oh, so it's another puzzle where... I guess I need to connect the, the motors or something like that? I'm not really sure. Because I'm not really sure what my limitation is here, right? I guess... Oh, interesting. So I can start these off. Why is it not going through, though? What is this? Cortex chip diagnostics. Comms are active, I guess? Or no, motor is active. Oh, interesting. So it looks like that's the sort of machine head that we have right now with the red lights and comms and all that jazz. Alright, so we're going to have to redirect some of these. So that they're ejected. Is this in the same room? I think so. Right? Yeah, that's back here. Alright, let's pick up the Cortex chip. Yeah, that's totally what we have ourselves. That's what they look like. Huh, surprising. Okay. Got some, some physics going on. <laughs> what else do we have here? Anything else of interest? Does not appear so. Alright. Then all that's left is making it back up, I believe. I'd be surprised if it went as smoothly as I'd like it to. Very surprised. But we'll see. Ah, uh, there's the save. There's the save. The game knows we've got all three items and things are about to change. So we keep going up here. Dang, it is dark. And the blurriness of everything is not helping. I'm mentally bracing myself for the staticky friend that's going to show up soon. Naturally. Okay, who's following me where? Oh my! Okay. So, this is not working. 
I guess we can technically get past by going over here. Please don't see me. Ah, oh, crap, 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 crap. Ah, we're super dead. We have died. Yep, you died. Well, I mean, it's saved on the way up. Hopefully we're not all blurry again, which means we have a couple hits that we can take. But, yeah, clearly, I mean, I was, I was right about <laughs> not going to be the last time we see that enemy. So I've definitely got to figure that out. But I also clearly haven't yet. But definitely an interesting setup. All right. Let's give it another go. Are we still blurry? Oh man, it seems like we're still blurry. I don't like it, guys. I don't like it. But at least now we know what to expect, more or less. Is there anywhere in here that I can data buffer, heal up a little bit? Maybe our friend down here? No, nothing? Please? I'll ask really nicely. Great. All right, in here we go. You gonna follow me now? I think that's like the WoW speaking to me or some person's consciousness that's been uploaded who is trying to keep things relatively sane. Dang, that thi those things are so scary compared to the other monsters. So I think what we're going to do just a little little powwow. I think we're gonna walk through here, and then we're gonna mad dash. Ready? You guys ready for it? The hyperventilating is so creepy. All right, all right. So I think it's gonna like turn up and start to look around soon. Right now it's got its obviously its face and its palms, but. You know what? We're going for it. Okay. Door, you wanna you wanna close? Oh what? What? No 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 that's not what I wanted to happen. Seriously. Of course I like check back. <sighs> I check back to see if the door actually closed, but it's like in the middle of closing. Really? Really, game? You're gonna do that to me? Uh. Well, it's not the end of the world. Now we know that it's a thing where we can try to close the door, but I guess if the enemy is already sprinting at me or something like that, then uh, it won't close all the way. So what we'll do is we'll just dash. We'll just completely dash through the first door, through the second door, because we actually had a fair amount of time, right? Even with my turning around at a snail's pace, things went all right. So let's try this again. All right, so we're gonna relatively stealthily make it past this door to the next one, which is honestly not too big of a feat, but that's okay. I feel like for some reason it senses when we're close to us and that's when it like drops its arms and, and lights up its face and all that jazz. For now though, it's just gonna do that and we are gonna run. Just gonna straight up run for it. What's interesting is that the music did diminish for like a moment before it eventually found me. Oh crap. Uh piss off another one of Wild's monsters. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? We have everything we need, right? Yeah. Let's get to work. This is crazy. Don't worry, it'll work. Make sure it's all bunched together with the structure gel connecting all the parts. Alright, try activating the seat from the terminal again. Oh my goodness, that's so weird. That's so weird. Is there any data buffer? Like, I really, I really just want to see clearly again. 
this is probably one of my one of my few complaints actually with this game is that it's so difficult uh, to just clear your your vision again to appreciate the game. I can't believe we're doing this. It will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? I was gonna suggest that if you refused. You'd go without me. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. I need to launch the Ark. You'd really do it, change body. Yes, if you wanna stay here, I'm not gonna stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. What would it be like before? Close my eyes and then... And then open them again. All right. Let's do it. Thank you, Simon. Go sit in the pilot seat in the next room. You might need to boot it up. You know, what's actually really interesting is I hadn't thought about it in this context specifically, but I, I work at a hospital, and one of the patients I'm taking care of um, has been, well, well, died and then was brought back to life and has then been sedated for a very long time and probably had the experience Simon just described, where... They have no memories up until a certain point, and then boom, the next minute, the next second they're conscious, they're awake in a hospital with a variety of tubes in them, trying to, to keep them alive. And that happened to this patient yesterday, and I was literally there to witness it. Um, and it didn't, it didn't go super well, things are, are fine now, but I can only imagine, I can only imagine, and that sort of thing that Simon went through at the very beginning of the game, waking up in this new environment, being super scared, that actually happens to people. You need to loop back the activity manifested by your current Cortex chip, run it through the amplifier, feed it into the new chip, and then make sure it's synced. You lost me halfway there. You don't really need to understand it, just make them line up. All right, so it looks like we need to decrease the frequency a little bit. We definitely need to decrease the amplitude. Oh, we have a different one. I thought we were the uh, the dashed one. So we're going to increase our amplitude. That should be good. Um, our frequency seems pretty similar. We'll increase the offset real quick. Or I guess we can decrease it. I think that's good, right? That's everything. You can climb into the pilot seat now. Already? I have everything under control, so please, have a seat. Alright. Go sit in the pilot seat. I mean, I guess... I guess it sounds like a plan. Anything else in here that's interesting? No? Alright. Stop messing around. Sorry, it's just a big decision, Catherine. Gosh, give me a second. It's a big deal. Sorry about any discomfort. This should be over soon. Now you mention it. It's like having a picture taken. But with the most expensive camera in the world, you know, Indians thought photos would steal their souls. In this case, they'd be right. <laughs> there must be something wrong. Can't you run a diagnosis or something? Uh oh. What was that? No, I, it's just... Why was it still talking? It's the same like before. Catherine, why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the seat was copied, and now you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. God damn you, Kath. Two Simons? There can't be two Simons. What did you think would happen? That you were going to take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. Oh my. What's gonna happen to him? He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in this fucking nightmare again? All alone? That's so cruel. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? You do that? I don't know. Maybe. Ethics are getting pretty intense. There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. <laughs> I'd rather not stay plugged in. Oh, man. Oh, man, guys. <laughs> so, first of all, 
I too was surprised. I thought it was just going to be a transfer, not necessarily a copy, but now there are clearly two Simons in existence. And there's the question of, are is each of us a distinct entity? Are we the same identity? Can we be Simon while this other Simon exists slash, slash is alive? What the heck? Right? And then the next question is, are we cruel enough to, to potentially drain the battery of this Simon? But then are we, are we also considerably cruel enough to leave this Simon alone in, what's it called? In Omicron. With the only friend will be that thing that was screaming and running after us. What's the right thing to do here? It's not necessarily clear. Is it even killing Simon if they're already if we already are Simon in a different, you know, machine, right? In a different suit. Is there any sort of is it killing Simon if technically Simon is still persisting as something else? Is it even killing Simon if it's a machine with a different human's body with Simon's cortex chip, right? Is that even killing Simon at that point? Is that even killing a human? Is that taking life away? It are all things to consider that are completely obfuscated by this whole setup, which is obviously part of the beauty of this game, and I'm sure why so many people enjoy it, is because it makes you think about these questions. Is this Simon right now? Part machine, part somebody else's human body? Not, like, literally not a single bit of the original Simon is here except for what's mentally preserved from a brain scan many many years ago and all of that is also preserved in the simon we are right now so it's not like the world is lo losing simon if we drain this battery and kill off this simon but at the same time it's still very much the same simon i was up until a minute ago <sighs> so i obviously have to make a decision right do i drain the battery or not do i kill this simon kill in quotes i guess I'm going to err on the side of not taking what could be perceived as life of a human. Some people may disagree, but there's also the question, the ethical question of something like euthanasia, right? Where this Simon is going to live a horrible life from here on out. But does that justify taking that life, ending that life? Would ending that life be better? I, I personally don't think so. So I think we are going to leave this Simon here, and we're going to exist as two Simons. Up until the moment of that copy, we or at the moment of that copy, we were the exact same Simon. But because I also think that somebody's lived experiences change who they are, from this point forward, we will technically be two different Simons with just however many years of the same upbringing. So I think at this point, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna leave the original Simon and live separate lives from here on out. And I'm going to hope that's Simon the best. We'll take Catherine with us. And go forward. Best of luck, old Simon. So now that we have the suit, we can head on down to the Abyss, which is where... Well, we're going to try to find the Ark, but there's also the whole question of, does Alpha exist? What is Alpha, and it's what are we going to find there, right? Clearly things did not turn well for the Ark team, or go well for the Ark team before, who went down there and never got the Ark off of Earth. And clearly there was this weird obsession with Alpha from, what was her name, Raleigh Herbert? So I know we're not supposed to go this way, or actually I don't really know that, but it looks like there are a couple different ways that we can proceed into the abyss. One of which is maybe over here. This might be the more obtuse way of going about it. There's a ladder here. Now I'm, I'm confused. Do I want to go this way or the other way? Well, I guess we'll start off this way. Got to choose one at some point, right? All right. Well, I mean, this will this will take us down. 
If there's... Oh, the static. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm wondering. So that decision we just made to not drain Simon's battery probably is going to change the ending, right? Like, I can totally see this being a game that has multiple endings. And I'm wondering how many different decisions there are that are changing the number of endings we have or what that ending is. That pr previous one is a big one. I hope this one isn't one in terms of which landing we choose. Yeah. Activate the clara, please. Sure thing. ACR, stop. Descend. Passengers to one. Technically, I guess. All right, going along for a ride. Never really was one for roller coasters, especially vertical ones. The sunlit zone, rich in light and oxygen. Pathos to main plateau. We are. Oh, we can track our descent on the left. It's dumb luck, right? And I woke up in the right body. That was the game. <laughs> Done didn't copy. I'll never experience my journey, the full journey. You wouldn't understand. Could he? I couldn't do it, and you knew it. You were right in trying to hide it from me. I only wish you'd done a better job. I basically flipped a coin, and if I had called the wrong side, I'd be rotting away at Omicron. I mean, there's nowhere to know, right? You didn't hit the make sure Simon wakes up in the right body switch, did you? Not that you would know. I mean, he would still claim to be the right Simon. Christ. This is awful. We did an awful fucking thing. And you wouldn't mind? Why would you? How could you know that it's not me, the me that I am, the same that I've always been? Let me say something. I don't want to think. Please. I don't blame Simon. I don't know what to say. I don't want to upset you. Say anything. When I was little, I used to climb the stairs all the way to the top of the building. And I can still feel how I did it, you know, tuck my arm so I could push the heavy steel door open. Well, the first time that I dared go up there, I stepped out onto the roof and watched the smog rise and fall over Taipei. I got all the way up to the corner ledge and, you know, I felt the warm wind in my hair and the sun was setting and the streets below were shadowed by the tall buildings. The people pushing through the crowd flowed like paint from an artist brush. Street food vendors filled the air with aromas of all my favorite foods. For a brief moment, I felt connected to the world in a way that I never had before. It was the most profound feeling of comfort and sense of belonging I could ever hope for. I really never felt the same way again, but I went up to the roof many times after. I'm not religious, but I can see why people would be. The privilege of being makes a strong case, at least every once in a while. Do you still feel that sense of awe? Even like this? Things are different, but we're still here. What's the point of going on? Everyone's gone. All the people still left are digital copies trapped in computers at the bottom of the sea. We'll never be able to rebuild or reclaim what we were. Are you really so unhappy being what you are, or is this about the man who went for a scan a hundred years ago? Both, I guess. When I was back in Toronto, even the worst case, the darkest futures I could predict, they at least included my previous life somehow. I feel so uprooted. There's nothing here that I recognize, nothing that makes me feel like I belong. Even if we make it to the yard, would it be any different? I'd still be alone. No friends. No family. You could make new friends. I'm sure everyone would like to know the time traveler. If not, you still have... Oh, come on, game. Catherine? 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 Kath? Hello, Catherine. What happened? Oh, come on. Okay. Of course, you still have 
of course, Catherine's gonna say me, and that's when everything gets cut off. Also, wow, look at everything outside. It's really pretty. Also, I don't know if those of you... First of all, what Catherine was talking about was super beautiful. I really appreciated her whole little speech. And listening to Simon work through the... Just the thought process of having two Simons and everything. Really touching on anything better than I could ever, you know, try to myself. I really hope those of you that are watching really listened and, and dug into everything that that conversation entailed. I also hope that you guys were noticing the little changes to the screen as we change different depth zones and all that. But... Okay, so it seems like we let's let's do a little bit of troubleshooting. So it looks like we have lost power, and at the moment, all I can really interact with is well, can I get back in the seat? Is that going to help things? No, it's not. Okay, so I can't interact with this lever. I can't interact with the Omni tool, which unfortunately has all of Catherine's existence on it. So let's go on up on top of this and take a look. It was also pretty cool to see that as we got deeper along, things were not necessary. like, you could see that it was stressing Simon's body, even despite the suit being there. So we open this up, and what do we see? A whole bunch of switches. Do we blow a fuse? Hey, I know it's not much, but why don't we stop moving? The power blacked out for a moment. Think it could be the atmospheric pressure. It's pushing pretty hard, really testing the limits of my suit. Don't worry, it should hold. Comforting. It will hold. Does, does time freeze when you're not powered? Time feels more than anything. What's the difference? I don't feel like I'm being held back or hindered. And I don't have the opportunity to reflect on the time I'm missing. It's simply missing. Sounds like sleeping without the dreaming. Yes. But generally you anticipate when you're about to sleep, and there's a natural continuation since we tend to wake up where we went to sleep. My experience is more like an ever-changing moment that never really seems to find closure. Sounds kind of like a movie being edited live. I suppose so. I guess it sounds exciting, but it really keeps me activated to the point of exhaustion. It's rough. Could be worse. Could be a time traveler stuck in a body made of <laughs> That would be the worst. That's really funny. And it looks like we are almost at the depth we need to be. Pressure of almost 300 atmospheres. Oh man. And of course now we're going to crash to a fall. Oh boy. We get out of our... Oh, what the heck? Are you... You did it. You did it. So I guess this is what you meant by you'll follow me. <laughs> Whatever you are, you definitely followed me and you made it to... Where are we now? Tau? Potentially the Ark? Together? What are you? You sabotaged the whole thing. Oh, good, you're back. What happened? Something dropped onto the cage. Knocks you right out. It spoke to me. Looks like a man, one of WoW's creatures. It just stared at you for a moment, then threw itself down the abyss. It said it would make preparations. Yeah, I don't like that at all. It was very strange. I thought it was going to kill you for sure. I'm glad it didn't. Yeah, me too. So we're approaching the bottom of that screen on the left. Looks like we're closing in on the ocean floor. Good, not sure the climber can take it much longer. Okay, so this is the Omega Sector. It's about an acre of the abyssal plan used by Pathos 2. I expect we'll have to do some walking before we reach town. You haven't been here before? Not in a way that'll help us. I the other you has been here. We're following your old footsteps, Cat. When I had footsteps. <laughs> you could still be down here somewhere. Technically. Don't remind me, freaks me out. That's true. Alright, let's head for town and find that arm. What a what a thought process. Technically Catherine could still be down here. Also, that was that was so creepy, but so cool when that creature attacked us. Attacked us? Talked to us? Why does it know who we are, what we're doing? Why does Catherine not hear what we hear, etc.? I don't I don't know. Why was it at Omicron? And telling us it will follow us, etc. Was it stuck there? Could it not get out itself? I don't. I don't know. A lot. A lot of questions around that. 
But we're going to hopefully tackle those, potentially find Catherine version 2 in the next episode. It'll be interesting to see, if we do find a second Catherine, how Catherine would respond to being in the same situation she just put Simon in, right? We may get to see that, and that could be an interesting foil. But the Abyss looks awesome. I'm super excited to explore this area, and I hope you guys are too. But until the next episode, this has been Night Zero, and this mission is complete.